Hello chums, uh, and if you can hear me, please say hey in the chat. Welcome back to our Wednesday game, Spy Game Hex Crawl. Uh, it's been a hot minute, but I'm here with the crew, ready to rock and roll yet again. Uh, you know, in some slight jeopardy, as we'll, we'll come straight back into it with just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, but first of all, before I inflict some pain on them, let's talk to everybody, <laughs> see how they are. Uh, Noir, how are you doing, friend? I'm doing good. Uh, I'm doing well. Superman does good. Uh, I'm just chilling out, and, uh, you know, having a good old time. Uh, morning ritual every Saturday. We've got Art Pleb. Very excited for that. Um, we are on um, uh, 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 Rivals of Water Deep is on its 12th season. I'm the producer for that. Got a new job. On, uh, I think I mentioned it here already, but I am the community manager for uh, uh Evil Genius Games, we've got our uh, Everyday Heroes coming out, uh, which is like 5th edition D20 Modern. So uh, just check that out. That'd be great. That's it. That's me. Suspicious. <laughs> uh. <laughs> also, am I vigilante for Peacemaker? You all let me know. That's the question I have. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Pope. I can pop that dice in, uh, in Noir's window Boop. uh all right susie hello is Ooh. your ring elderly yet not quite okay getting there getting there getting defeated there. three of the great lords of the big bosses so i've got a couple more to do um and then i wandered into a new zone last night on my off stream uh, and was immediately just had my ass kicked backwards and forth for about an hour. I was like, mm. should have got good, shouldn't you? Should have got good. Actually, do you know how bad it was? Like, usually I'm pretty, like, with Soulsborne games, I'm like, okay, it's fine. That was on me. Wasn't good enough. My skills just aren't up to par yet. And I can, like, stick with it and get through it. Like, Father Gascoigne, when I played Bloodborne for the first time, Literally took me about six hours in the span of like an afternoon to an evening. And then when I beat him, I did a victory lap of my living room, like full on t-shirt over the head footballer style. But last night I was so pissed that I very quietly just shut down the game, walked over, gave my husband a little kiss on the head as he was playing Elden Ring, grabbed a book and sat down and quietly fumed in a corner as I read. Oh. I was like... So wow. that's how pissed I got last night. But I'm enjoying it. It's a really good game. I played some yesterday with my streaming game. I'm playing a completely different build to what I usually play, which is I'm playing a big sword, which I don't usually do at all. So that was fun. But we did Godfrey in two runs. So I understood the words in that sentence. Well, it's not it's not for you, Sam. It's all right, you know. No, it's okay. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. I am. I am. It is my current hyper focus. So I can't wait until a week's time where I can't stand to look at it anymore. And something else has taken my attention because my brain is a hellscape to live in. <laughs> but uh, beyond that, um, we didn't do Crusader Queens on Monday. We had a little break, which was nice. Nice little just chill evening. Um, I'm excited, dreading after the fire tomorrow because I might die. <laughs> Uh, in which case none of you will ever hear the end of it. It will be extreme sad girl hours, MSN status, the whole fucking nine months. Well, that's rough. Two characters Eulogies might... all over Twitter, you know. That's tough. <laughs> Two characters that might die back to back days. Yeah. Too bad. Yeah. My girls can't catch breaks. Completely of their own making, but still can't catch breaks. And then they'll be playing Elden Ring probably again on Friday. Uh, so please lend me your energy because Roll20 is probably going to come for me today and tomorrow. And I will need all the love and support that you can muster in chat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Pope, how are you? How are you doing? Doing pretty well. Uh, hey, everybody. Pope here. Pope World on Twitter. Pope World on Twitch. I lurk in all your streams if you want to find out where you can see more of my silly face follow the twitter i'll put up the go live stuff um more importantly for today after this uh i strongly suggest if you still have time or later on this evening uh going over to weave the tale they're doing a full day's charity stream event for equality texas 
Um, so please, if you can, if you've got the, got the time, promote, be in chat, give if you can, because as someone who is living in a state that is actively hostile to the LGBTQ youth, uh, at least their legislature is, um, that's very important to me that we raise funds where we can to, to fight the good fight, as well as care for those that are affected. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for being here. And let's let's get into some like revenge and silly violence. <sighs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and an exceptionally good cause as well. Uh, and then Lynn, how are you, friend? Doing good. Uh, busy. Um, also playing Elden Ring. That is also my hyper focus at the moment. Doing okay. <laughs> Dying a lot. <laughs> Getting frustrated. Not as frustrating. I've had my own personal like Dark Souls gun club build with this Gundam that I'm building currently. Like I had to pause last week because I was missing a piece. I think it's trying to get back at me for like pausing on it for a couple months. And it's just like taking its frustration out every time I build. So it will get done. And I make, I made the same, I make the same frustrated dark, you know, like I'm doing bad at games when I get frustrated with a Gundam. So that's it. Oh, <laughs> I just like go to a corner and have a quiet word with yourself. Just like, just like, it's just like, sing. <sighs> <Just dang. laughs> That's what's annoying. Breathe. Yeah, absolutely. Do not throw it across. You will never find it if you throw this across the room. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can't, yeah, you can't throw controllers around because when you get older, you realize these things are expensive as hell. Yeah. So it's like, no, you, you put it down. You do something else for that moment. You don't throw it. It's very true. It's very true. Yes. Well, I am also uh, excited for tomorrow's After the Fire. A battle is brewing and we're going to catch up with Miria. And I think we've basically got like a full crew tomorrow. So it's going to be good to catch up with everybody. Um, we, now we know that the, the Mermaid Sapphire is real. That Tom's ship is actually real. Not I still think it's three dudes with a cut out just going like this. Just along a riverbank. A bunch of year fours with a, with flats just with the theatre flats just walking along. It's a bunch of like cereal boxes that has been painted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, apart from that, just chilling. Um and uh having fun at work as usual. Uh Noir and I <laughs> chatting away at <laughs> the state of our industry um, and who we work with. But yeah, that's for another time, ah! I'm sure. <laughs> ah! Exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, not much of a recap today because obviously we left on a bit of a cliffhanger. I want to get right back into it. So I'm going to chuck on a cool little new music oh, thing. 20 from weekend. Tabletop Audio. Where did you go? Yeah, it's dark mode. Let's do it. Uh, friends, adjust your audio setting in Roll20 if it's a bit loud for you. They just changed their audio settings so everything's got like whoop. So go head over to the, like, the, the cog and, and check out your master volume level to sort that out. Oh, I'll sort mine out. Good, it's not the Mass Effect 3 death music. Good, good for you, you two. Good. <laughs> We come back to Hex Crawl then with uh, Odin standing just in front of Athena's closed laptop. All right, I was the one that was fucked last. <laughs> I was remembering. I know somebody was in a bad spot. It was me. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we can keep going. <laughs> and above you, as you look up at the ceiling, is a single canister taped to it with uh, a little device attached to the side of it with a little blinking light. Uh, Athena and oh my god, character names, Nyx, are just outside the front door to the safe house. Uh, Chernobog is, I feel like, on the way back? 
yes. having scoped out uh, uh, an enemy like safe house, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Odin, <laughs> what would you like to do? So here's the question, because I genuinely can't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it wasn't Nick that had it. It was three to God dang it. I was going to ask who had the EMP gloves and did he get them back? Did he get them from you, Nick? In which case, he's going to look up, see the blinking, and immediately sorry to your laptop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I it made it like tough. That. Yeah, it, it was. They, I can't believe they did that to your laptop. Just click and hope it works. With the EMP love? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm going to ask you to roll, and so am yeah. I. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask you to roll for me. Uh huh. Probably mechanics, to be fair. Oh, okay. Uh, I just want to say that if the EMP doesn't kill that bomb, you better hope that bomb kills you before it you know, does. <laughs> That's fair. Because if you toasted her laptop for no reason. They toasted your laptop. <laughs> Why, Roll 20? Why? I'm good at mechanics. Um... Do I have one of those little dot thingies? <laughs> Do I have you a have little You have two inspiration up? die. But it's not going to help you. You roll double twelves. Oh, flurb me in the burb. <laughs> uh, okay, well. All right. This is uh, this is going to I'm going to roll to see if they can figure out what you are doing. Okay. They cannot figure out what you're doing. Okay. The, the, the secret is, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's hard to figure it out when I don't even know. <laughs> okay, I want to know the details of your EMP, love. Yes, I'm glad that you asked because I should have that. <laughs> uh, and, 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 it's, and it's here, in theory. Uh, electromagnetic pulse. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This palm size device, like, uh, is an electric big name pulse generator antenna creates a pulse. Objects or device, uh, that damages all device, uh, electrical objects and devices as an action. You can use it. The device either manually or remotely causes, uh, 2d8 electrical damage to all electronic devices and objects within 30 foot radius line of sight. <clears throat> Includes any electronic devices used by or in the possession of the team uh, if caught in the pulse. <laughs> I don't like how <laughs> he just grabbed the book. <laughs> so, there, all is, the <laughs> there is this as uh, an electric pulse shoots out, and you even get a little bit of that static ozone y uh, kind of smell too. As you just get this rush of air just out of the front door, too, as the two of you are looking inside. Yeah, my eye goes on the fritz like, ah, oh, fuck, oh, I forgot about that part. <laughs> no, oh, that's right. You can take three damage as your eye fritzes out and just, <laughs> just shorts out your optical nerve a little bit. And it just, it blinds you for a few seconds. Ah, I'll take that. <laughs> What other electronic devices have you got on your person? Ooh, well. <laughs> I got three drones. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got on us here. Three drones, my eye. Uh, luckily, those grenades aren't electric, electronic. Well... <laughs> uh, what else do I have? Oh, I got some fun stuff, too. Um... I've got, oh, no, those thermite grenades are gone. Uh, I only have one thing of C4 now. I have two flashbangs, and I don't know if I still have this grenade launcher. I had one at one point, though. I, I miss it. I was going to name it Phil. 
It's probably in the corner of the safe house somewhere. I, I named it Phil because I use it when I need to fill in the blank. <laughs> you get it? It's a little inside joke. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh... That, All right. That's... So your eye is on the fritz. Mm -hmm. the oh, drone... my cell phones! Your drones are out. Your cell phones are out. Uh, it is quite strangely quiet for you being a technophile right and just outside the door uh the two ladies your cell phones are out your little earpieces that you might have been communicating with are out oh uh athena just calls into the house odin Odin? Is it coming through? No, she's like yelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh? <laughs> so you can like you can it's that moment in Firefly where they're right next to each other. You're like she's shouting at you through the door, and maybe for a second do you think, oh, I'm getting I'm getting comms. No no no, wait, hang on, that's a real voice just outside. Oh hey. Tell me that that wasn't what I think that was. It wasn't what you think it was. Is the blinking still going off on the thing up there? No. Uh, I would like to. Uh, I would like to try and uh, to disarm whatever that is. Okay. It's without. Uh, it's outside of your reach at the moment, but obviously you can get stuff to stand on, mm -hmm. tables or chair, or even a step ladder if you think it's inside here somewhere. Yeah, he would. I mean, because with all the wiring he had to do, he would definitely have a ladder. Cool. All right. So you're looking for that just now. What are the mm -hmm. two of you just outside doing? Uh, Athena turns to Nyx and says, um, so I'm pretty sure that that was just an EMP that we just got hit with, given how nothing is working. And Athena looks really stressed out that none of her tech is working. It's like, you know, when the internet goes down in your house and you're like, the fuck do I do now? <laughs> like that's the kind of vibe she has. Okay. So um Just calm down. Calm down. Well, what am you I get everything to working? You can't just get everything working. <laughs> After she'll hand, she'll, she'll, hand you the, she'll, she'll hand you the gun. I'm just gonna get everything working in here. <laughs> Good news is that if they're who we think you are, mm -hmm. that's gonna hurt them as much as us. So, this thing she'll hand, she'll clasp the, the gun in your hand. This will keep her protected. I'm going to look around, see if anyone's hanging around okay. to watch. Okay. Okay. We'll get everything working uh, again. <laughs> Serena's kind of like holding this gun in her hands, like, I don't want this. <laughs> you know how to hold a gun. No, no, she does know how to hold it, but she's like, she doesn't want it. Like, she doesn't like guns. <laughs> so, she's yeah, kind of no, okay. just like, all right, okay. so she's, she's going to stay posted she outside is, the front door. <laughs> Nyx is just uh, never wants to let Athrina know that in cases where her, she has to go in, you go after the tech person first. <laughs> it's like, just never wants to tell her that in front. She knows. Okay. Yeah. She knows. <laughs> but so, she's kind um, of like holding the gun behind her back because she's also aware that they're stood in an area that may have onlookers. And she's there looking like the walk of shame, you know, the morning after the night before. So she doesn't want to be stood there like that with a gun in her hands. Does, um, does that three have a coat on? Have a coat? No. On? no. Okay. So we're both, I look, oh. I am in a shredded <laughs> cocktail dress. So it's like I had been mauled by an animal at this point. So yeah, I'm just gonna go out with my um, my pistol and my knife. I'm gonna go just look around, like take a patrol around the area. Um, do you want to go inside the house, or do you want to go around the actual around the house? I think um, yeah, these two. It's like, Odin, do you think it's safe for uh, Trina to come in there and take a look, help you with things? Yeah, I, I'm working on. Uh, I'm working on. Uh, to disabling the bomb, so as long as nobody bumps into the ladder, I should be good. <clears throat> so you See? make your way inside as Odin is like grabbing a step ladder 
and setting it up in the middle of the room. And you can see that he's positioning it uh, just below what looks to be some kind of like booby trap device. There's a canister attached to the ceiling. There's a little kind of block of, you know, electronic, like a little electronic device or electric detonator or something just attached to it there. As he's weirdly casually kind of go, well, not casually, but like just kind of going about his business, you're being more cautious. So you're kind of, you know, making a slow and steady sweep of the whole little, uh, you know, uh, building, the whole little interior. Make me a perception check um, and let me know if there's anything that boosts, you know, you for doing that, for looking for, for things because you're an infiltrator. It's been a while since I looked at it, and it's been a little while since we played, so we're kind yeah. of catching up. So we'll what was that last bit? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear that last that last bit. So make me a perception check. If there's anything that like helps you look for secret stuff uh, in the like either the class features or anything, let me know. But I, I, I honestly can... can't remember. I can see at night. I can see in like low light. Okay, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you won't be hampered by any kind of darkness there is. I mean, the only yeah. light that's coming into this place now, because I imagine that you guys like, oh, you, like close blinds and you could black out curtains or whatever you you can to kind of make this place as safe as possible in this kind of like rough, slightly more maybe industrial kind of um, street or neighborhood. Um, so yeah, you won't be uh, you won't be penalized by any kind of dark light or anything. Yeah. Um, dark light, darkness, darkness. Uh, the absence of light. Yes. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I said that's like dark. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So make me a perception check. Twenty. Twenty is good. Okay. So, um, looking from the device across the ceiling, you can see that there have been some wires attached to it. Um, they have been somewhat camouflaged a little bit. Um, you've kind of got like this kind of main like central area to your little um, safe house um, where you might uh, be kipping or you might be eating and stuff like that. You've also got uh, a room just adjacent to this uh, just off to your left, which is like the kind of like medically kind of area and stuff like that. There's also a little area for um, Odin to be, you know, working uh, at his little workshop little workbench, but also like a little generator, stuff like that. It's dead silent in here because apart from Odin, because everything's been every like electronic device, every little buzz, every little hum has been knocked out. But these wires that are extending from the um little like device that's on the ceiling actually make their way towards um a small device in the very corner of the room just above the workshop space. Um, so there's that. As you make, uh, as you kind of check around where Athena's laptop was, maybe for signs of this potential intruder that has like tampered with it, anything like that. Uh, you uh, kind of a little bit of muscle memory or training kicks in, you check underneath the table and you feel a tiny little microphone underneath the table strapped to the bottom of it a little remote like tiny, tiny microphone with a little uh, the thing that gives it away is it's uh, or was it's a little battery, little energy source um and then if you were to make your way towards this device in the corner, this little um, this, this little box, this, again, this little kind of little bug electronic device thing in the corner, then uh, you can see just, it, it's very inconspicuous, but just kind of out of place for your memory of this safe house, there is another little device just stashed away behind some of Odin's kind of gubbins and mechanical bits and bobs. Uh, feel free to ask me a couple of questions about any of that if you want more specific information. But basically, from your little search, like that's what you can see at face value. Mm -hmm. um, I know that this isn't necessarily um, Nix's specialty, so she will um, walk back and quietly for both of them. I found something in the room over here. 
another piece. Oh, I'll be there in just a second. <laughs> They've had you enough focus on that. I'll look. And They've had enough time in. to bug this place, put a number of devices. So they've known about this and they had a lot of time mm-hmm. to do what they need to do. So, because- Well, hopefully that EMP knocked whatever it is out. It's probably killed this microphone, but just to be sure. And Athena's is just going to take the power pack out of <laughs> just to disassemble the microphone, just to be careful. Well, that means we have to uh, act quickly because if they know that microphone mm-hmm. and everything else been knocked out they know we did something yeah i'm just curious as to what this is and she goes over to look at the device behind uh odin's stuff but she's not like touching it she's doing that thing where she's like you know looking not touching <laughs> Roll me a mechanics check cool it's gonna be a disaster what skill does mechanics use i don't even have it as a skill intelligence intelligence Okay, I'll just roll an intelligence then. Uh, uh, uh. 20. Oh! Wow. Oh. <laughs> um, this is a cellular jammer. Oh! It blocks cell phone signals. Okay, okay. That's extremely cool of them. And so she's going to just pick it up. Cell phone jammer. Interesting. So they bugged us with mics. They have a jammer for cell phones and whatever that is. And then there's whatever they did to my laptop. Do I have uh, any idea of what this is that I'm working on yet? Is it a bomb? (laughs) Um, It is a bomb of sorts. You don't know necessarily what's in the canister. But is it, looks... it the eye drill thing? Do I have an eye drill thingy? What? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. No. You know the it... drill that just... Oh, the... Drone. The, the exploding oh, drone. Oh, the thing the... that got... Okay, thing that's what you named it. Yeah. yeah, but the eye drill. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Latest Pokemon. Um, no. oh. It's not eye drill. <laughs> It's oh. uh, this looks more like a like a smoke bomb, or some kind of explosive canister than it does an actual mm. like um, plastic explosive or something that's gonna you know generate a lot of heat and force. This is this is like smoky smoke time. Oh, they were gonna he like as he's working on it, he goes, oh, they were gonna snuff us if that's a if that's a cell jammer and this is a smoker day. They were going to come in here and give us the zero dark something treatment. Cool, 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 cool. Why don't you make me that mechanics check to disarm the device? I've been waiting for you to ask that because I have a skill (laughs) that works with this. And like, you're not going to accidentally set it off, are you? I think is the thing. Yeah, I can't accidentally uh, blow this up. Oh my God. Thank God. This is what Odin's good for. <laughs> as well as the actual explosions. What? <laughs> His going what is, on? What is happening? Well, what? 20 has chosen. You are tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> is it, wait, is it, is it like ticking down by twos? Is this thing like, yeah, it is. Oh, no. No way. Well, 20 no has way. Chosen. If it's if next one is double eights, I'm. That's it. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> that's it. End of stream. All twenty's haunted. All twenty's haunted. Luckily, I have safety on. At second level, you choose this technical expertise. You can no longer accidentally set off an explosive device from a failed ability check. If you're set, you get yourself or attempting to disarm it, unless your actions would trigger the trap. Yeah. Okay. Um. You, so this is so weird, right? Because the DC item was a fifteen. It's not. It's not quite a success. It's not like you've disarmed it, but you, I think you could easily have got it um, off the ceiling. Mm-hmm. But there's a problem here. 
the EMP getting set off means that the the digital, the electronic detonator that's attached to this, it's in a weird state of like not having fired off. But if you're going to tamper with this anymore, if you were going to take the detonator off, if you're going to do anything like that, it would set the thing off. So in this weird state of holding this, you're you're the Ukrainian guy with the landmine right now. All right, so good news, bad news, everybody. Good mm -hmm. news is that this is not a everybody die bomb. <laughs> Here's the bad, bad news. news. Yeah, the bad news is that it's kind of live right now, and I can't di uh, disarm it. Mm. Okay. Okay, but if it blows up, it's just some smoke in everybody's face, and my my hand burns a little bit. You know, there are worse things. Can you like contain it? Like, put it in the fridge or something? No. <laughs> what I what I I mean what I can do is that I can just throw it outside. <laughs> Okay. Smoke in a contained area, bad. Sm smoke outside, good. Problem it's just is just smoke. Sixty uh, percentage percent. Because the other percent means possible lethal gas. So yeah. So outside, but problem with smoke outside is smoke outside is a smoke signal. So, everybody oh. prep your shit, because we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Either way, we got to go, because if we've, uh, we found a couple of bugging devices, they know they're no longer active, so they're going to know that we've been here. Yes. So we got to, we got to get the fuck out anyway. I shouldn't do this. This is dumb. This is real stupid. This is every level of stupid, but hey, GM. Hi. As as a ranger, I have a little bit of ability called improvised explosive devices. <laughs> we we are yes, we have a thing. And I've got a bomb that's kind of almost ready to blow. Mm -hmm. And I know that there are some people that might be coming here. Mm -hmm. So I would I would like to in case it is poisonous gas. Re reuse recycle <laughs> you know so can i say environmentalism I mean, really can green agenda right? <laughs> i'm a green terrorist so like, <laughs> can i can i create a like with this at the heart of it and an, an improvised explosive weapon that i'll put on the outside of uh of our door yes Okay, so I'm going to. I I do need to roll for that. You want to put it on the outside, on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where where I well not this like the door that they would bust in to kill us all. That like the front door. Yeah, the front door. Right do you there. want it on the inside of your building, or do you want it on the outside of your building? I want it on the outside of the building, but I will be covering it up. So we're going. I I I. Oh. I yeah, <laughs> As you step right. outside, Chernobog is making his way down the street towards you, having not heard from the team now for uh, for a while, um, and not getting anything, and no okay. scene, no 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 scene, you know, ticks either on the messages. <laughs> I imagine he sees a Threader coming out, still in a cocktail dress, makeup smudged, holding a gun in one hand, her laptop under the other, and a backpack on. We gotta go. Got it. <laughs> just <laughs> with, with without a beat, just walks in. Watch the wire. Watch stuff. the wire. Okay, steps. <laughs> yeah. Does does that awkward stepping over the Lego? Um, yeah. Dad move goes in. Just gathers up his stuff. No questions. Grabs a yogurt out of the fridge and a spoon. Just does the awkward dad walk out. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I think while while Nyx was going around the house, I think maybe she grabbed her clothes as well, because so, she is 
gonna bring up more questions as she walks around with like a like a burnt up like cocktail dress. I've got okay. I got Phil, my grenade launcher, my duffel bag. <laughs> I want you to take a look at your inventories. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, on your character sheets, I want you to think honestly about what you will have stashed here and what you will have taken on your little gallivants around your little mission bits the, in the past, mm-hmm. you know, 12 hours or so. And the more stuff you want, the longer you are going to take here and therefore the more jeopardy you might be in. If you want to make this real quick and out the door, don't grab nothing. If you want to try and round up everything you've got, and you're going to be leaving this this like medical area too. So, honestly, my entire kit is in two bags. This one, grab them. The only thing that he would have to go in for is Phil, because he's got his backpack that has the three drones in it. And everything else is pretty much modded to be on his person. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially because he just got back from using most of it. So he's good to go. Folks are going to rely on you too for most of their repairs to their stuff. Yeah. You you guys, I mean, bar um, Chernobog now, you don't have any, any electronics on you, basically. Where? Oh, I think Athena is basically, she's got her laptop under one arm, even though it's blammoed uh she's got a bag of clothes and she scooped up what she can into like a first aid kit just yeah. essential stuff so she can do sutures and bandages and uh disinfectants um yeah. all right so it. actually there there are three things you would have to grab philip his toolkit um and his laptop that's it okay <sighs> I think Nick oh, he... travels fairly less when she gets to get her clothes, I think. Mm-hmm. She has most of her, like, most of her stuff is pretty small. Mm-hmm. Okay. And her, yeah, because I have my bot, I have my ton of my boot. Yep, yeah, I've got, I got my stuff. The all right. Ge- gear is in a backpack, and all the clothes are in a duffel. So. Uh, do you still have a working car outside? I was walking. No, <laughs> no, we, no, oh, we no, 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 we did. We switched. We remember oh, we that's right. That's right. We switched. Uh, yeah. Also, we have a new site because I called Fixer last episode to get us a new place. Mm-hmm. Right. So we do have a car. Okay. Uh, so, having grabbed all of your stuff, having jumped into the car there where do you want to head to well we got a choice i know where they're holed up it is in the burbs and definitely heavily prepared um while we are not there is also our new safe house which i have already called in a favor for and should be good for the next 48 hours I, I have a uh, another proposal. Okay. They they bug my home, and they sabotage my home, and now they're on their way to my home to kill me. And not, uh, not necessarily. I I made them really paranoid. So we're also we're the same, both of both sides, and paranoid. And having our safe houses found out. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm keen on a stakeout to see if anybody comes looking. I wouldn't be surprised if they aren't watching us right now. And Athena just 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 because she's she thinks they're there, she just like out of the car. I mentioned the side in the car having this discussion. She just does a middle <laughs> finger out of a car window, just a random direction, just in case someone uh, is watching. I have an idea of what they're using. They're they're going by the handbook at this point. They think themselves professionals, and I think two of them actually are. Um, oh, there's certainly so, one. So black, mostly blacked out vehicles, large SUV, 
um, probably reinforced was what I saw parked outside their safe house. They probably also have access to a few, likely a few other vehicles, something very low rent, and then probably something high performance. If we're just going by the playbook. But at the same time, cops went by number of different homes around theirs was broken into plus there was a disturbance at their site so but they also seem to be very much dug in so they're unlikely to leave their site unless they're going on specifically an op if you are certain that they are on their way then you should stick stake the place out otherwise our choices are vengeance upon where they lay or set up new dicks. Well, if the three is right and they already have eyes on us, then we're compromised no matter which way we go. If we go to them, then they have forewarning that they, that we're coming and they have home turf. If they are keeping eyes on us, then we'll, we stake out our place and they just don't come. We make a move to go somewhere else. If we go to them in our current condition, I don't, I don't know. It's been a long day, man. Well, I was going to have one stop on the way. Oh, I need to hit up one of the island late night liquor stores because we are we have escalated to gorilla means, which means a lot of Molotovs and things go, since you've already gone loud, I might as well go loud. Oh, well, speaking of that, um, is this anything you can use? Chernobyl, she'll hand, she'll hand the essence of the machine gun. Uh, I hate these things. They I also hate <laughs> you know, um, on them. The best thing to do with this is put it in the hands of a rookie and see them get slide bit. Um, <laughs> well, you, look, you, look, look, we all look. <laughs> I just imagine everyone looks at Athena for a minute and she's like, uh, no, like, I hate these things. Um, no, I, I prefer either improvise munitions or to work up close. If I have to use a gun, something's gone terribly wrong. Uh, unless it's a Ma Deuce. Hey, I have an idea. There's another option. Oh, you seem excited. I still have a cell phone that works. And I have an arms dealer on speed dial. Oh, I mean, oh. Uh, what is, <laughs> what things are you thinking of procuring from this? Thing? Well, there's what I want, and then there's what we actually need. Oh, ideal, well, ideally. Um, ideally, we should probably secure some form of transport off this blasted aisle since things are compromised. Um, and then we should probably re gear up with whatever is broken, see what we can actually get our hands on, and then whatever sort of material goods that you need for us to, if we need to do a fighting retreat, to do that. Then there's the vengeful part of me that just wants a mod deuce to light up an entire neighborhood. But and that's other me. <laughs> Remember your mission objective here is to infiltrate yeah. the, the meeting that is happening tomorrow. Or mm -hmm. now technically today, I guess? Yes, it's, mm -hmm. it's this morning, but I don't think we're going to be able to infiltrate Jack or Squat. I mean, um, if you can give it a try. If you think you can work your magic, Nyx, more power to you. I will say in that regard, um, my sort of in is it's gone. Good to know. Um, Still alive? Again. Yeah. It just it probably would not end well for me if I ever saw him again. Oh, it's too bad. They, they have agents on site that I saw them get into the nondescript black vehicle. There is a definite a team involved. Uh, I'm guessing the person that you all of a sudden had that awkward block out of that one room 
when you got made. Mm -hmm. I'm figuring they're probably a technician of some sort with a background in what we do. One yeah, of the two I mean, they were able to immediately make me. So, um, so Nix, if you think you can infiltrate, great. Otherwise, this this feels very much like a scorched earth smash and grab job where we smash their stuff, grab one of them, and get as much info as we can. I mean, I'm in favor of that as well. That's the right approach. Oh, so good. I'll say my help at the minute will purely be medical because all of my equipment is fucking trashed. It, it, I can fix it. Yeah, but what's the oh. time frame? Mm -hmm. Oh, not the laptop. I make the extra shot. Mm. Not to mention that they clearly fucked with my laptop before it went uh, pop. So whatever I had, they probably have, which means they probably have Hexi and my software and my sensitive information. Okay, that means we are in an emergency mode. Mm -hmm. That does um, change things. That, so what I propose... I to keep the data internal. <laughs> Points to his eye. That's still like <laughs> we, oh, oh, we oh. go meet the arms dealer. We get stuff very quickly. Um, they will, if they are already tracking us, their priority is to keep their operation quiet and safe. What we do to draw them out is to make their operation unsafe. So exactly. go, go to the meeting. Nix, you're going to take point on whatever gear we're going to get from my friend. Um, if they make you, we all go loud. Um, and then we just nab as many of them as we can. If things can proceed in a quiet fashion, we get the intel we get. And we get out as best we can, but on the way out, we make sure to burn them down. Does this sound amenable to everyone? Mm hmm I'm excellent. I think Let's... I can probably get in through oh, there's gotta be some it's a meeting, so there's gotta be some sort of catering, and that's always the easiest to get through. It's morning catering. In a, in a pinch. Well, it's gonna be a breakfast meeting. Yeah, so there's probably going to be a buffet. Um, I doubt they'll have custom orders. So it is probably a generalized thing. So everyone has a safety option. Um, let me go ahead and give Diego a call. I mean, it'll be nice if they're, especially if they're, if they're expecting a tech. Hey, Diego, buddy, I know it's real early, but um, I figured you, A, you'd be up, and B, it's time to do some business. <laughs> Are we going? All right, cut to uh, the meeting. Where this set up on, like, a little warehouse somewhere? I figured it would be warehouse district by the docks, because everything has to be shipped onto an island so it's either an airfield or the docks yeah that's where uh industrial shipyard let's hit it that's a bit of a shipyard in the caymans sure probably probably not who knows you want to look at my map <laughs> it's all beautiful coastline and there has to be a port yeah there's got to be Unless everything's flown in, like you said. Well, no, no. You, you, you. Ha I'm fairly certain there are cruises that go to the Caymans, so there has to be a port. Yeah, yeah. There's a cruise port. Hmm. Cruise ships can carry cargo. Yeah. So it doubles up. Yeah. Also, you have nondescript tourists that can come from anywhere in the world, get aboard a cruise ship, and then all of a sudden show up there. 
on top of the actual people who are crews. So you can get all sorts of lovely goodies. Yeah, okay. So in between are just a few ramshackle um, containers, shipping containers, uh, you meet with Diego. What is it you are looking for in terms of arms? I hand that over to the rest of the crew because they're the ones that need the goodies. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> the glee <laughs> on Noir's face. <laughs> We're going to need two new laptops. Um, an unfortunate accident to fill uh, our current ones. Diego is an arms dealer. Yeah. Not yeah, an electronics like dealer. All right, in that case, you I'll can just buy, try to be nice. You can buy hex <laughs> laptops from any electrics vendor. <laughs> I'll just try to be nice. I need some thermite grenades. <laughs> I love how you're like, I need some I need some thermite grenades. <laughs> <laughs> I need a real bad baby. Uh I need to re-up on my white phosphorus grenades as well. Oh boy. Um you know, flashbangs did pretty good. Do you have grenade locker ammo? You know what? If we're just gonna go nuts. <laughs> like I'm looking at the rest of the crew, like, is anybody gonna stop me? <laughs> No, I, okay. I, I'm just I I I, I uh, the glasses go down and the look I'm giving Diego is yes it's legit also I'm sorry. <laughs> I can Odin walking up like Leon Kennedy in Resident Evil Four being like look I'm gonna need flame rounds flashbangs what can fit in this duffel bag. I'm what actually glad got? that you mentioned that because there are incendiary rounds and I've been dying to try those out with my sniper rifle. So if we can get some of those going. That would be there's this Terminator, like he's gonna tell the guy the story. There's this guy. I I he I wanna kill him so bad and everything I'm trying. He survived thermites, so we need more of those. He survived flashbangs, so I need a couple of those. You know what? I just ran out. Well, I just used one of my last uh C4. So if you have any C4 to spare, that'll be great. Um uh, we should, we should, we should work with some smoke, smoke. Pot. Hey, you know what? There's this drone, right? <laughs> and what it does is that it pops out and it goes for people's skulls. Do you have any of those? Even if it's defunct, like I'll buy it off of you, just, just so I can get a good look at a at a whole one. That would be, that would be great. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay. Do you have any bulletproof cars? <laughs> no. no. You might have some body armor. That's yes. about it. Yes. How much money do you have? Oh. Uh, oh let me pull out the budget. <laughs> Turn of all, you take care of the dollars and cents. Right now, the operational budget in total, total is $90,320. Oh, let's get salty. <laughs> Can I borrow 30 grand of that? Like, when do we, like... Well, some of the other team will need some stuff. I'm certain Nyx is going to need oh. some things. I mean, just, three... I think I'm just going to need some, bo- like, if there's any body armor that can fit underneath um, I'm, civilian yeah. clothes, I will be game for that. Yeah. Um, okay, you can buy uh, armor and um, weapons and explosives from Diego. All standard equipment. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to need a whole new computer, and if current uh, trends uh, go, we're going to need that 90 grand to buy me a graphics card. Um. <laughs> or we could just find people who have them and kill them. And yeah, we'll just take their stuff. <laughs> Go to a crypto farm. I'm perfectly take fine all the with killing cards. a bunch just of crypto me. bros. Take all I, the I am, yes, I am actually really. fighting capitalism, <laughs> and by killing them, I'm saving the planet. There is nothing downhill about this. No, I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, 100% fan. We've got energy tonight. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I messed uh, up now. Uh, what I was going to say, if you want to buy a laptop, then if you want to buy it legitimately, things are opening at, you know, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but this is a breakfast meeting. It's about to yeah, happen. No. You're, you're, like you're, that, yeah. you're in like, you know, really late night slash really early morning right now, meeting a dodgy guy on a dock front. Yep. Buying weapons and armor. 
best way to spend their early This morning. isn't how I imagine uh, this mission going down. Just load up, load up. Load I up made small, preparations because I knew this would happen. <laughs> I mean, I just I need all a few right. knives and a gun. That's all I need. Mm, let's see. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're probably gonna need some armor. Well, I'm not too worried about that. I mm, amphibious firearms. You know, before I was thinking. Never mind. I'll, I'll make that myself. Uh, <laughs> all you need is a nine millimeter Glock. It can fire underwater. Can I get a nine millimeter? You. Can I get a nine doesn't, millimeter? Doesn't Glock? hurt much though. Underwater. <laughs> oh, no, no. The the Glock actually there's. Because it's made of mostly polycarbonate and it's using a nine millimeter round, it actually travels decent um, and can actually kill. Uh, it is one of the few domestically distributed handguns that you can actually use to fire underwater and kill someone. You know, I know too much I just, about firearms. I'll remember that if I have a Glock. I desperately need to kill someone underwater. <laughs> Can yeah, I just dang. get a sampler of all the grenades? You got frag, smoke, flashbang, yeah, concussion, the... incendiary, tear gas, <laughs> and white, white, white phosphorus. I just, just. You need a like flight, that. a tasting. Yeah, the tasting. <laughs> you want grenade sliders? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Why are it you all looking at me like this? <laughs> Adrena, by the way, she's not involved in those weapons discussion because she doesn't use them. So oh, just, I mean, you have you have your you have the your machine gun. You have a machine gun. You're set. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> we should probably get you some body yeah, armor body while armor. we're here. Yeah, good. Well, I apparently have a stab vest in my inventory. So good. yeah, that's great against stabbing. So far, we haven't dealt a lot with stabbing. It's been a lot of shooting and explosions. True. True. <laughs> Stabbings haven't been Trent's problem. Stabbings is Nix's department. So far, we haven't had a lot of stabbings, except for that one time back in London. Um, that guy had it coming, and I will not apologize for it again. <laughs> I wasn't even bringing up him. I was bringing up me who got stabbed. Oh, never oh, mind. <laughs> oh, you should have seen that one. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to be... What... what, what what firearms? We're going to need suppressors for all of our firearms to help us be quieter. You know, I think I think that's a thing we might want to invest in. No? Okay. Just all the grenades. Then. <laughs> is anyone keeping a track? Yeah, knife is uh, I, I just need knife is the quiet. actual list and then I will I will subtract all the monies. Okay. All right. Here, here's I'm going to the page and we're going just, to do this. Just realize the beauty of this. This is a shopping session in the spy mm -hmm. game, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. It's not even like going to the magic item shop. It's like meeting no. the dodgy guy, meeting the contact, opening up the, the back the, the, the back of cars and trucks and buying like, ooh, body armor. Ooh, amphibious <laughs> weapons. Yeah. yeah uh, I, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, if we can get probably how do you feel about tactical armor there Athrena? sure was just yeah go ahead. okay you will look like so, you're in swap you will not be able to hide that no no um but for nix do you have an undercover vest already or no no let's get you an undercover vest I can give him my stab vest. Speaking of uh, rules wise, it has got one more armor than an undercover vest does. Although it's probably more visible than an undercover. Oh, she needs the undercover for infiltration. Never mind. Yeah. Undercover, yeah. you can hide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a stab vest is usually worn over stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then and she has to walk around armor. with one hand tucked up here like all the coppers do in England. Yeah. Oh, um... And tactical armor is like. Your bright gear, SWAT gear type stuff. It's your. <laughs> That's what Athena's gonna look like, just bulky. Like, it's like, yeah, it's, true. Like, it's like one of those things where it's like you go outside and it's freezing cold and you have to have the big coat. It's just like full of. <laughs> Can but it's like 30 degrees. <laughs> 30 degrees Celsius in the game. It's just really fucking hot. I'm just sweating. <laughs> this coat on. Couple of this armor. 
<laughs> okay, and then light plate carrier, heavy plate carriers, they're like your military. Uh, that's your military stuff. Light ah. plate carrier, you've got all your you know ceramic plates in your tactical vest, and you've got you know legs and uh, arm, um, not so much arm armor, but and then heavy plate carrier is like you know bomb proof vest with the big the big collar that comes up around here. You know those yes, boys in Metal big... Gear Solid um, video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got the big stuff on. You can see half of their head, and then they've got like this weird little helmet on. Uh, awkward question. How swole is Odin? Uh, so when y'all first met Odin, Odin was like, like my shade, like you know, very kind, of very Doughboy Pillsbury. He's still Doughboy Pillsbury, but you can see that there's some there's some guns underneath of uh, like me in high school. Still. Uh, <laughs> so strength wise, a thirteen or no. Uh, strength wise, he is a. <laughs> Did I say he had no. guns? No, he doesn't. He's a, he's a six. Oh, I can. Okay, good hey, to know. I'm stronger than Odin is. Wait, oh. Is it three of the strongest one? I mean, is, is Nick's strongest one? I've got a strength one? of eight, so probably oh not. Wait, is Nick's the strongest one? I think Nick's is the strongest one. Well, no, 13. I. <laughs> I have a strength of 14. Okay, you so, are the strong. Okay. Uh, Trinabog is strongest. Um, <laughs> I'm, de I'm, dex I'm Dexy and smart as shit, but like, that's about all I've got going okay. for me. <laughs> so in that case, we're not going to go with that shield. We'll go with the standard riot shield, if we can get one of those. Well, I... I, I I'm I'm a distance boy. I I'm a sniper. I don't I I, I, I should be fine. You can when things go wrong, since you're going to be set up someplace else, having a riot shield when the, your your area is compromised and you can't use your sniper rifle, oh, it is going to keep you alive. Oh no, no, like if if I get compromised, that's what the grenades are for. <laughs> I love I love that we're we're making noir one of my Gundams that has a riot shield and a sniper rifle. Yes, we are going to make Odin a Gundam. Um, Is Odin the tall geese? My second favorite. First favorite is Death Side, baby. Yeah, you got to stick true with it. <laughs> I did not understand all the words in that sentence. Right, so there you are. You are Heavy arms. Right there. Um. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right, well, let, let's let's look at some practical things here as well. Let's. Well, right shield is practical and actually affordable. <laughs> uh, yeah, two hundred bucks. Now, looking at the less practical and less affordable. So. We figured out with armor now. I think we're good with armor. Mm -hmm. Kidoki. Okay, uh, weapons. Oh boy. Oh, the weapons. Right. So many, many weapons. Um, I mean, you can get an HMG for fourteen grand. God, I got like, I got like eight knives on me. I don't know if I need more knives. <laughs> um. Yeah, Just I am. Check real quick. I am. Because it, it's it's twenty bucks, I am gonna go ahead. Oh no, sorry, it's fifty bucks. I, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself about um, ten rounds of incendiary uh, sniper okay. rifle ammunition. Okay. Uh, and then. Yeah, oh, I, I see. What else are you thinking? Um, yeah. I just read through martial arts rules again, so I mm -hmm. probably need to buy something. Okay. <laughs> now that we're getting to weapons, um, mm -hmm. hmm. I'm, about to, I'm about to spend a lot of money, so just uh, go ahead. <laughs> the most pricey thing I'm looking at even possibly getting and i'm not is 150 dollars. i'm quite affordable um 
So how many shuriken do I get for 20 bucks? Or is that 20 bucks just the individual shuriken? Uh, I think that's the individual shuriken. Okay. We'll get five. Okay. There, I have oh. spent $100 on myself. Oh, yeah. Do the damage dice go up when you... Uh, you know, they your... use my damage oh. die. Yeah. So having a short-range weapon that's highly concealable? Yes, please. What is yeah. the difference between a shuriken and a dagger? Um, Probably just the... Re nope, like nothing. <laughs> okay, so it's in my turn. What? I'm going to need yes. you to, de to deduct the money. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to... 1500 for two more things of C4. 1500 you said? Yeah. Okay. That brings my total up to three things of C4. Um, okay. I've got to reload my white phosphorus because Boom Bubs there only has one. So we're gonna that's a that's a thousand. Um Boom Buzzer is currently inoperable, right? Yeah, but he can fix it. Yeah, I can fix it. <sighs> okay. What else? So, so this is it so bad, but uh we're gonna be spending um, two thousand. Uh, two thousand. <clears throat> mm. On eight, uh, eight thermite grenades. God, that's so many. That's so many. Okay. Hey. <laughs> you ever, you ever go shopping with your mom and it's just like she's getting you the stuff but you know you're gonna pay for it later um <clears throat> right uh so uh only 700 here for 10 things of tear gas i've been wondering i've got an idea <sighs> okay And 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 four hundred for smoke, uh, smoke grenades, and that's it. That's it for me. No, there's two other things you're going to get. Yes, there are. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I um, forgot. Oh, I mean, you made that you were planning. Oh, okay, yeah, no, of course. What 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 do you what do you have in mind? We're spending eight hundred on getting four claymore mines. You <laughs> how many four claymore? Oh, you yes. shouldn't have. I was, I really wanted those. I just wasn't gonna ask for them, but like, you get me, turn. You get me. <laughs> and then we need to get some flashbacks. Yeah, we should. We should. I mean, if if you think it's if you think it's appropriate, how many flashbacks should we get? We're going to get I'm, six flashbacks. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so genuinely legitimately happy right now. <laughs> I needed this. It's gonna take you like illicit arms dealing, and then you're. This is your euphoria. I know. I was. Uh, and it'll be. It'll be euphoria once you use all that stuff and you see all that stuff in action. If we have 1,200 to spare, can I get two incendiary grenades for reasons? I don't even have a plan for them yet, but I like, I'll come up with something. You can have one, not two. I. <laughs> you have that many grenades. You can do like mix and match grenades. Just like both two at the same time. You know what? This feels exactly like being the eldest sibling and watching your younger siblings just get whatever the fuck you want. Then whatever the fuck they want. And you're out there with your fucking charity shop pencil case, being like, maybe I can get a new pen this year. <laughs> no new laptop for Athena. Not, not, not tonight. Uh, no, we need to get somebody with who has access to specialty goods to get Athena what she needs. I mean, if I see a laptop in that in that 
you know, office building, I'll take it. Oh, why have I not been using my grenade launcher? I just looked at what it does. It's you are? Fucking... Oh, my God. <laughs> I have one. Its name is Phil. Phil's, <laughs> feeling, have... Phil's feeling neglected is what I'm hearing. Holy shit. You're like a small, like a small army at this moment. Like, I'll never forget when I told them oh. what my what my character concept was. You would have played explosive specialist in a spy game. Yeah, I do. <laughs> also, because reasons, I'm going to need uh, three sets of handcuffs. Okay, it's not a bad idea. You know, well, two of them are going to Nix, and one of them is going to stay on me. Uh, uh, if if we have a hundred bucks, can I bother you for a laser sight? Do you have time to install it? Yes. It, it, look, look, it, it's a universal rail system. I just click that he, bad boy on. He literally go. takes it out of the back of the truck and clicks it into place. <laughs> okay. This has been a profitable night for this gentleman. I'm like, you know. To be the fair, most arm stealers don't wake up unless they can make 5k. That's I'm, so. The only thing that would have been more expensive is if you'd bought any pick and mix. Su Susie will understand. Most expensive commodity. Fried the world. Get flying saucers, you can have as many of them as you like. They don't weigh anything. Yeah. Anyway. Midget gems? Oh, the fucking question. Don't even think about it. <laughs> do, you, do you have any sedatives? Not that kind of dealer. No, you, know, you never know. You never know. No. See, it's like an entrepreneurial no, he type fellow. I think, I, think he, I think he says to you, Chernobog, you know, like your, your crew is loco. But, um, but I fucking I'm, love him. I, it, again, we'll we'll keep in touch. Uh, if you're if you're in Miami in like a couple of months, we're probably going to have that as a stop on our way to Cali. So let's do business again. Okay. All right. Take care, Diego. Thank you so much for your business. No, thank you. He gets there. in his car and he drives away. Okay. Ah, everyone happy with what they've got? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so many explosions. I feel so unsafe in this car. Yes, it does. Someone fucking sneezes in here and we're done. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'm I have expert. a high dodge. I do not. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. It's three in the morning. There is a breakfast meeting coming up. You talked about establishing a route off the island. And about getting to your new safe house. And infiltrating the meeting. So what do you want to do next? I mean, I can get started on the infiltration. Like, I think if everyone wants to do anything else, I think Nick can take that mm -hmm. task. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can split up. Sure. What right. else is on the agenda? <laughs> um, I think best thing for Athrena is maybe post up in the safe house, um, start working on getting her own tech back up and running because there's not a lot she can really do mm -hmm. uh, except provide medical aid uh, when things go wrong. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so she'll just be, I think, just starting at stripping out a laptop, getting rid of the heck shit on it, putting her own shit back on it when one opens. Like, uh, go to a computer store and buy a laptop when one opens. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you meant if things go wrong. Do I? 
Did anybody else get a suppressor for their guns? I don't have a gun. Knives are quiet. Christ! No noise. Well, I've got a, I got one for my pistol. So I'm the only one concerned about being quiet, then. <laughs> I am quite quiet. I am very quiet. Uh, Chenabog Odin, what are your plans in the morning? Um, I'm gonna find another, uh, another nest to perch myself on to get an oversight of the mission. And, uh, while I'm there, I'm just gonna start repairing my tech. Okay. Oh, I should, I should probably, before I go, you know, doing my sniper thing, who needs what fixed? <laughs> uh, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, don't worry about my stuff. I can solve it. Are our comms still F? Oh, or- yeah, we don't oh, have comms. Right. comms are- the only one who has the operating earbud is me. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd like to make sure that we at least have that going before I leave them. You definitely have choices to make here because you're. So it's three a.m. Do we have time to do that? I was going to say you have time to effectively fix one thing, one major thing. To actually get it up and running again from an EMP means soldering. It means like remaking stuff, replacing and replacing power sources, making you know, uh, making sure nothing surged or. Like blo- mm-hmm. burn, burnt through or, or blown up in a circuitry. It's difficult and like tiny little intricate work, no matter what you're going to be repairing, really. From your drone to a laptop to the comms to the little comm buds. Um, I mean, you could all effectively buy like hex smartphones when the shop's open. You can re log in with um, your details, your biometrics. And it would load you'd load your profiles up for you. But I would imagine that the you know your ear your earbuds are linked oh, to wait. your devices. Uh, actually I have an idea. Okay, I have one I, I know what I'm phone. doing. <laughs> um that burner phone it... get caught in the blast though? Did it? Yeah, everything. If it, was, fine, if yeah. it was on you or if it was with your stuff, yeah, it did. Yeah. Um oh, yeah, all right. I'm um, in the burner, it's gone now. I uh, I'm I am taking the phone that I don't use. I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to have, I'm going to go to a specific point on the island, reactivate with all my biometric info. Um, Also, Cayman Islands is riddled with chickens and cats. I'm going to find a cat. I'm going to strap this phone to. Um, and if they want to chase me, by all means, chase me. Hey, uh, so, you know, when we joked in the green room that we were peacemaker. This is, yeah, this is. Literally like, this is, a oh God, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is that. Oh my is God. Is about peacemaker? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You're gonna have to catch this cat. <laughs> oh. I would have a fight in the parking lot. One of you would shoot the person I'm fighting before this was like the rematch. Um oh, God. We are putting, putting um, on the raccoon. So yes, I am I am going to that that is my early morning is reactivating the phone and putting it on a cat. Catching. Catching another animal. Uh, so well, well, no, no, a long no. night. I don't have to catch. I just have to have food. <laughs> there is oh, no okay. catching. There Should is I... just befriending and strapping a phone to a cat. 
I don't know if you've ever tried to strap anything to a cat. I know, like before. I put a, I've tried I, to put like the the. the I live in a house with three cats. All right. I know what this takes. All right. What do you want to roll for me, strength or dex? I am rolling dex. Okay. I'm sure that the SRD has a cat. Twenty. File. Hell yeah, <laughs> it does. Oh, is this cat? Oh, please. Okay. <laughs> claw, okay claw what, <laughs> uh, what happened to you? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna post this up to see with this ability okay. how much can I you fix? do that. <laughs> You can heal uh, objects' hit points or restore a piece of equipment to function, providing you resources. Simple objects of small or tiny size can be restored to full hit points with a single action, while larger objects can be mended by 1d4 hit points with an action. Or GM may estimate a time until the larger object is made good at their discretion. Yeah, I think because it's it's more complex, like we've got here, more complicated mm -hmm. equipment can be repaired, making intelligence mechanics check against the DC chosen. Depending on their complexity, and the item may take more than one action or extra resources for the components to be restored to working order. Because your EMP is just, like, blitzed everything. Right. Um, yeah, this is going to be more difficult, and it's going to take... It's going to take a couple of hours for each thing that gotcha. you want to do. <clears throat> All right. Oh, choices. It's like choosing which one of my babies I love more. I've got to fix my eye. That's first. Okay. Um, um, okay, so where are you guys doing this? Are you heading back to the safe house? Or are you doing this posted up in an observation point somewhere where you want to be sniping from? Well, uh, yeah, I, I before he left, he asked if there's anything that anybody else needed fixed. Kind of got the no on that, so he's oh, going wait. to his... What's up? Uh, the baton... I don't know how much that's going to be. Uh, Electro uh, baton. Yeah, yeah if, you're, if, if you want a, a baton that is uh, $70. Oh, oh no, I mean fixing the electric. Oh, yeah. the shock baton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the tech yeah, murderer. The, the, that's what that. The, the shock daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> call it that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> don't call it that. <laughs> I built it. I gave it what I want. I'm no, just the shock daddy. Hand over that shock, did it? <laughs> um, uh, would with the I can't not call it that. Now. Would the, the Tesla rod be considered a small piece of equipment, or is that one of the more complex ones too? It's a gadget, so this is more complicated. Okay, so um. Then I guess the only two things that I can fix are my eye and the Tesla rod. So this gun's gonna go be like, uh, only for you, buddy. Only for you, dicks. All right, here we go. Okay. And this shit. Appreciate it. There you go. Huh. I did that? I did that with one eye. <laughs> Speaking of which. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So one I'm going to need day. a uh, mechanics check from you. What caliber is the. I think it's a two. Rod? I think it's a two. Two. And his like, eye is like a caliber four because he's modded the he's modded the crap out of it. There will be a dark and there is some some future time. Okay. Future time. So all right, mechanics check. All right. Roll 20. That's what's kind of a three. Is it three? Okay. Yeah. All right, so this cool. is going to be DC Excellent. 20. Oh, boy. I would I would like to use one of my thingamajiggies. Aww, thank you. Okie dokie. Roll 20. Come on. <laughs> just don't, this, don't, don't, just don't this do. once. Please. Just this once. There we go. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh. Good roll. <laughs> Ooh. So you have reactivated the Tesla rod. Excellent. Ah. Oh, then thank you. She'll like no. she'll she'll activate. It makes that noise that like ee, so it's like yes. <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully we won't need it, but if we do, yeah. 
Okay. Now, now it's time for the eye. I, do I have another thingy? You do have or another that, thingy. I'm yeah. gonna use my last. I'm gonna use my last thingy. Thingy. Come on, thingy. <laughs> what the? I am sorry. Oh okay. no. You can repair it enough to vis like working order so that you can see through it, <laughs> but you can't get any of your augmented reality information. <laughs> I'm just a normal person again. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I see like the rest of you see it. I hate it. <laughs> All right. I can't YouTube when I'm talking to people and not pay attention like I usually do. Now I have to actually listen to you all. <laughs> Pretend. <laughs> okay. In the intervening four hours... Until we've got to, until Odin has got to this point, is there anything else? Uh, is there anything that you guys would like to do? Uh, it would take you up to like seven a.m. Has anyone lost any hit points and would be taking a long rest? Oh, I, I can give one. you an extra. I believe it's a d six to your. Uh, you can be taking, yeah, extra. You can be taking a short rest at the moment. That's no, not going to do me anything. Oh, yeah, you don't have time rest. to take a long rest unless you want to yeah. miss some of the meeting. It's up to you guys. That. If you I, want to take eight hours out to actually chill in a safe house, we can do that. If you you all want to, I mean, Nix is the only one that has to like be at the thing. Yeah, if we do do that, he would. He still wouldn't sleep. He'd spend more time trying to fix more things. Well, if you want to go there and provide like overlook, then you can't really uh, take that extra time, Noah, because you'd have to get there and get posted up and be ready. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, you're, this, you're right, but that doesn't mean an extra to one you. to your short fucking rest hit die because roll twenty hates you. <laughs> I swear to God, God. it does. It has what chosen. <laughs> who, who, who did I piss off? No, no, no. Dan. Dan. Roll, roll, roll. I think. There's still goodwill from Roll Twenty after being offered the child. I think that's. I was about the to say, like reason. it's it's still going. It can't be it can't be Susie because. Well, again, Susie yeah. bribed Roll Twenty with her firstborn. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's that's you must make a blood sacrifice to Roll Twenty for it to not choose you. I mean, like, <laughs> oh. they can have all my kids. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna have no kids. <laughs> take take these ghost babies. <laughs> that, that that sounds different than I think you intended. Right. <laughs> oh. anyway. anyway, let's move on, shall we? <clears throat> yeah. Right. Where are we going? <laughs> Nick's meeting time. Yeah, Nick is gonna go early to meeting. She's gonna start this 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 hitman level early. Okay, <sighs> you're gonna solo this. You're gonna solo this hitman level. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be on overlook because that's why I'm not building more shit. So, okay. just to be clear, is Nick's um objective to go back and get that um that data, or is it just to observe infiltrate infiltrate the meeting? Um see if there is data to be retrieved or a high priority target mm -hmm. all right i just want y'all to know that you left um odin and Nix together again so like whatever happens is on y'all i mean it's, i mean it's <laughs> no, 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 no. we've learned this time i'm in the car <laughs> okay I'm in the car Nick says, and I have a bottle of liquor. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh. It is both medicinal and otherwise. <laughs> it's two uses. I always uh, love multi purpose. And Athrena. I am living out my best latchkey kid life and I am in the safe house alone. Peace and quiet. Yeah. I'm just waiting until it's time for like a, a an electronic store to open so I can go buy a new laptop. 
Cool. Uh, you meet uh, Katia. She is a uh, skinny, um, late middle-aged Russian woman mm -hmm. with that the chain smokes. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that, but you know, I guess he would be awake if he's a bit of a late night, like whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but she uh, she invites you in to her house. Oh. <laughs> um, because. This is all I could do in short notice. Please come in. And she kind of like, kind of opens cupboards that are kind of vaguely bare and like tries to offer you some pop tarts. It's like all she's got. Yeah, I think I'll have them and she'll bum a cigarette as well because she needs one. <laughs> <laughs> she she just passes you the pop tart packet. Like there's no toaster in this in this house. She'll. Do you know what? After the night she's had, she'll just eat them. No shame. Right. <laughs> Athena's a streamer. Trust me, I've eaten much worse. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to remind. Oh, okay, great. Lynn's coming back in just a second. Good, you're back. I want this to, to have the the full impact that it deserves. Uh oh. It's been about 24 hours since you all had a good rest. I want you all to take a level of exhaustion, please. Uh, right, this level right. of exhaustion mm -hmm. is gonna give you... Disadvantage on ability checks, I wanna say. Did we put it at the end no. of the book? No, did we put it at the end of combat? Oh, no. Probably. They're on this character sheet. Maybe not. Mm. Her. I don't think so. I don't see. Yeah. Disadvantage on ability checks. So that's not saving throws or attack rolls, um, but on ability checks. Okay. As you are. Work with that. Nameth. I mean, we did. Yeah, we got exploded. Got did a whole fight. day and a night. Yeah. And you're <laughs> yeah. The, the the adrenaline just it's just gone now. You're uh, you're all out. <laughs> it's gotta get that adrenaline back up and yeah. So you're just running on fumes. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay. Nix. How do you want to infiltrate this meeting? Infiltrate the meeting. Um. Kind of scope out the um. Service entrance. Mm -hmm. um, depending on if they have custodial staff or the people that are, um, they have their stuff there. Or I can just like, you know, do the old thing of like ambush a one of the, um, one of the uh, caterers and take their stuff if I need to. True Hitman style. Yeah. All right. Roll hide me. You, hide, hide you in the bathroom or Yeah, yeah. Roll me that theme roll. Roll me a check, uh infiltration Good. check, and add your charisma modifier. My, yeah, alright. Or it's Oh that's mm. right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, plus three. Alright. Twenty six. Twenty six. Beautiful. Okay. So you make your way to opposite the office building itself. Now it's not particularly tall. It's not like a high rise. It's got, mm -hmm. you know, it's got like two, three floors to it, but it's a raised building off the ground. So there's a ramp up to a, a single entrance and exit. Um, and from what you know from uh, Athrena and from what you've probably seen before or heard about it before, there's a little reception area that you would go into. And then there's like the main uh, office floor. There's a little server room somewhere. And there's another room that people haven't actually scoped out yet. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a fairly small office building. As you uh, head up to it and just scope it out from a little bit of a distance, um, you can see that there are several security guards now. Um, couple in the parking lot there's definitely one on the door um there's uh 
another one with uh, a dog that's moving around the back and they've got like a nice lawn kind of out the back um, that's uh, making uh, their way around it in kind of a perimeter just checking scope you know mm -hmm. scoping out any anyone that's kind of coming and going um, looking inside it looks like it's uh, open like you know um, you can see a little bit of movement inside but it doesn't seem to be like there's a lot of activity yet essentially you know you can assume that the office staff there haven't either aren't coming to work this morning or it's just a bit too early for them for the for the regulars to actually just show up um, mm -hmm. before uh, the meeting uh, and so there is definitely a heightened security presence here mm -hmm. already yeah um, and there is no service entrance really to speak of there is just the front front entrance mm -hmm. um, but as you wait as you keep uh, an eye on the place um, there is a, um, a little van pulls up um, that has uh, like a bakery um, you know trading yep. trade dress on the side of it pulls up uh, a guy gets out of the of the driver's side. Uh, he's parked up literally just opposite the, the main entrance and uh, opens up the two doors, the back of the van, and brings out uh, a whole tray of what just look like kind of baked goods with some, like paper over them. And he's got this, you know, big kind of plastic basket. Mm -hmm. With a 26, though, did you ask, want to ask me any questions about what else you might be able to see, what else you might be able to pick out if, if you have any kind of... Or any assumptions that you could make from what you see? How are they dressed? Do they have the same thing or are they just... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The security. Like, security or the, the caterers? I guess. Uh, caterers, um, it actually looks casual. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, either just a, you know, a delivery person uh, or even a proprietor of a local bakery or something. Yes. Um, doing doing the rounds. This just looks like a civvy who is literally just delivering goods. The security are all um, like neatly uniformed. Yeah. It looks like they're putting on a little bit of a show. Like, you know, if you've ever worked anywhere and like the literal owner is coming mm -hmm. from like the company or something. Everyone's just, you know, ironed their shirt a little better and they've got creases in their trousers and that kind of stuff. But they're all wearing, you know, white shirts, black tie security uniform, little radio on the lapel, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. How hard are they checking the, um, the caterer coming in and out with the trays? So as the... Um, yeah, so the, obviously, yeah, there's a bit of a cycle of these of these baskets. He's maybe carrying two at a time. So the baker heads over the road. Um, the first security guard to spot him, just as they go past them, radios uh, through. As the baker reaches the front door, they're then, you know, with the little widdly wee, they're like mm -hmm. kind of doing the little scanny up and down thing. It's called a widdly wee. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> with a little metal detector just, you know, scanning over and just giving him a little kind of pat down as well checking inside the basket, checking everything so they're doing a, they're doing a fairly good job um, but it's it's the it's the typical security pat down it's not like mm -hmm. some incredible special like, like they're, they're not particularly clever about it but they're, they're doing the pat downs and everything once they're satisfied, they let the baker through and he disappears for a few minutes and then comes back out and with the door, the back doors of his van still open, he heads to the back, he grabs another couple of trays of, of goods and then he heads back inside. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing. The, obviously, they don't radio through again, but... Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to wait until... They don't scan until... him, but they check the baskets again and then they let him through. Yeah, I'm just going to um, let that cycle go through so it kind of has like a little bit of... Um... Like they get used to the um, the flow of him come of them coming in and out, and at some point I want to get in there and 
would I know if how much my knives would would set off this thing? These things they would one hundred percent set it off. Okay. Important question: Are they going directly over the baked goods? Like uh, with the thing. scanny thing? Yeah. No, they're doing a visual check. All right. Small daggers going in like a croissant or muffin thingy, whatever. If I can find like a um, like a maple bar esque thing, just put mm -hmm. thing in there. See if I can get a few knives in there. So, do you want to sneak it in whilst the mm -hmm. baker is delivering another set of goods? Yeah. Um, or do you want to try and take the place of the delivery? Try person? and take the place, yeah. Because if I, if so, I can maybe get a few of the knives in. Or you want? I can. I'm going to try and sneak in without without. If I can get my whole gear in there, I, it would be nicer. And then I can get one of these security guys in. See, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and like time it right where I can kind of like miss the sight line of a few of them and just get inside. That's likely to be impossible. Okay. For you to actually sneak inside without them seeing. Okay. Like I said, there is literally only one main entrance to the building. Mm -hmm. And they've got someone posted on that door. You know, yeah. from a three nith on the other side of that. There is like a maybe a fifteen by twenty kind of reception area. They've got they side places... lines out everywhere. Yeah. Are there any places where they're like, there's one of them like posted where I could possibly get a um, sleep hold on? Like as far as like one that is like outside the sight line of one of the others. The only one that you can see of that from uh, for now is around the back of the building, but that's the dog handler. That's the dog handler. All right, so all right, plan to get the the part of the catering. See if I can get in that way. Okay. It's likely that they are aware or they've noticed that this is a single person so far, having gone mm -hmm. in and out. Yeah. So. You could either, um, I reckon, try and pr try and fake your way through being a second person. Yes. On that delivery, the risk there for you, I think, is that the baker himself will realise that he's got some unwanted help if mm -hmm. he if he uh, makes you if he sees you, you know, delivering his stuff. Yeah. Or. You could try it later. You grab the, the baker or let him drive off, get up to him later, and then come back with a, oh, sorry, we missed this last tray of stuff. Oh, I like that one. Yes. But that split. obviously the, 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 um, the cost for you for that is mm. losing a little bit of time. Losing a little bit of time, but if I don't get inside. Mm-hmm. And not having two points of possible getting sighted from him and probably the most multiple um, security guards. So I'll do that. Okay. How did you want to... Um, did you want to let him drive off? Or did you want to try and get into the van? Try and sneak into the van. Mm -hmm. You want to go in the back? It's probably the only place he won't see you. So you could wait yes. until he's on like his second delivery. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then grab him there. Okay. So roll me a stealth check, please. But bear in mind you're exhausted, so you're going to roll it at disadvantage. All right. So, all right. All right. There we go. Uh, you do have one inspiration die in your frame. I think I'm okay. I think I should be okay. Okay. 17. 17. I'm just going to double check some security guard perceptions. Okay. 
and you time it right, just so as the baker is making another final round of deliveries, you sneak into the back, you just nudge a couple more trays just a little bit higher so you can crouch in the corner mm-hmm. of the van. You hear the two doors close, and now you're in darkness. It's a tiny, tiny little bit of light sneaking oh, in I through can... a gap in the door, so you can see well, because you're in low light now. Yeah. And the van drives, it makes a left, a right, heads over a couple of intersections, makes another right, and goes another maybe 100 feet down the road, and stops. And then the doors open back up again. Mm -hmm. And uh, he grabs a couple of trays quite close to you, and Mm -hmm. drags them forward to where he is, and then you hear him walk off to another property. So what when I'm going to do like is, to try and grab him. Yeah, I was going to get it like as soon as like he turned his back with the trays, like he's occupied with them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to? What do you want to do? You got maybe have some different options for for an attack. I have. Oh no, that's not the button for that. Where is the button? There it is. Sleeper hold. Beautiful. So if you can make a special grapple attack against unaware opponent using both hands, you can wrap your arms around the target's neck, constricting their air supply, and make an unarmed attack against an unaware surprise target. If you hit, restrain the target. Yeah, this is perfect infiltration mode fodder. All right. So make me an unarmed attack. You'll be making it with advantage because he is surprised. Mm-hmm. All right, unarmed strike. There we go. 24. Oh, oh, I crit that. This man. Uh, wrong. <laughs> Fucking hell. He's dead. No. Dead. Um, <laughs> like, he's going to be unconscious for six hours. Good. That'll be so, enough. So, yeah. So, what do you do next? I will. I'm going to kind of. You, you need to bundle him somewhere. Yeah. Then you need to. Head, probably head back over to the the office thing and then be like, I need to make a quick. He forgot something. I need to go. Yep. He's always forgetting Pol- things. Pol- Gresham, yeah. Like, we forgot a few more. Oh, we forgot a few trays. we got to bring those in. Sorry. That yeah, sort of okay. thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're okay. So you bundle him into the back of the van. Disguise him up. Oh, I'm not taking him. I'm dropping. Baskets. I'm just going to drop oh, him off. Dropping at the him? Pol- yeah, I'm dropping off at the public restroom somewhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a problem. I uh, look and... at the van. If like I don't want them to have like what well, we're into, like there's a man back there. Because every yeah, yeah. they will check the van. No, that's a good, a good <laughs> idea actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you drop him off uh, at a, a public toilet, and then you uh, take the van. Back you know what? To I'm gonna, the... I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to a. Um, I'm gonna go to a um, liquor store. And I am going to, you know, just sp- sprinkle a good enough, like, thing on this. Just so, like, people will be, like, if they find him, it's like, oh, this man is drunk and passed out somewhere. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then you're heading back to the office? Yes. Yeah, okay. So... I'm, taking a, I'm taking his cell phone, anything he has to um, mm-hmm. call. Okay. Yeah, for six hours. Yeah, nice. Oh, this is cool. fine. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I won't bamboozle you. He is dealt mm-hmm. with. He's all. He's yeah. away. Yeah, you're good. You you grabbed his stuff. In. Okay, so about uh, with all of those shenanigans, about 45 minutes later, you arrive back at the uh, office. She's gonna try and like um, prep herself by like um, try and work up like like a like a little bit of a sweat and just kind of like. A little bit of fast breathing, just pull up to think. It's like I'm very sorry. We um we we have miscommunication. How many how many portions are supposed to have? we have? And he left without without delivering a couple other trays. I'm we're very sorry. Hopefully this hopefully things are still going fine. Sorry. Okay, it's so the security guard at the front on the sidewalk in front of the entrance looks at you and radios through uh, to you have to assume someone inside the building 
Uh, she just relays your message to them. Uh, make me a deception check, again with disadvantage. Do I still get the bonus for the... Um, for the um, cover? Or the theme thing? Uh, not the theme, no. That would be like... That's okay, the that's confidence check. game. We make it just be... Oh, I get... Uh, bonus is doubled for confidence game. When you make a charisma deception, okay. pretend to be someone else. Okay, good. So, so I have some. So that's so that's doubled, but it's still you're still roll with disadvantage. Yep, yep, that's fine. I just want to make sure I have every. It should be, should be. Your God. So um, twenty six. Mm, thirty. That's a thirty. Okay. So there's a. Uh, tense minute as you she waits for a radio reply but they clear you to head up to the main door and before the kind of double doors are opened um, you can see through there's um, a receptionist sat on the reception desk but there's mm -hmm. another security guard that stood by the entrance just around the corner and to, so if you're looking at into the reception on the right hand side is another set of glass double doors that have been opened out. Mm -hmm. And the security guard grabs his little widdly wee uh, metal mm -hmm. detector scanner um, and is preparing to uh, scan you up and down. Mm -hmm. That is where we'll pause for tonight. And we'll leave it uh. until next week. We'll find out and allow me to do a little bit of Hitman level prep on the old map um, for to see how this all, all shakes out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Danger muffins, yes. <laughs> Danger muffins. A whole new brand of uh, confectionery. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me, friends, on another Wednesday. I know it's been a little while, but it's been good to get back into it. It's been very interesting seeing your choices, what you want to do, and all that. Just, you know, sub suboptimal choices, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, I I thought you were literally just going to start, like, full-on assault this place. I, I thought maybe you were just going to shoot everyone. That's still... What happens? Is that still on the table? table? That's okay. still on the table, I think. It's pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> I feel like with the amount of ordnance that was bought today, that is absolutely still this, a consideration. This is this is going to go bad for the security people if things go... This is, this is bad for them. I'm an EVAC Honestly. specialist. I only, I only act up when it's time to get out of here. <laughs> EVAC. <laughs> accurate that's accurate <laughs> all right well how about you let folks watch you know where we can find you on the internet what you are up to noir do you still have the little book of engagements i do have my book there I you go do. where are you uh, what are you doing I, it, it's been it's been too long since i've written it <laughs> but uh actually here i've because i've moved on to digital so on mondays you can catch me over on uh well, actually, we're taking a little bit of a break for King's Guard just because uh, I've got a lot going on. Uh, Tuesdays, um, nothing, actually, just more working and putting stuff together. Wednesdays, you can find me right here. Uh, and I have an upcoming project with Gnome that I'm very, uh, Nomadic, that I'm very excited uh, to announce. But uh, just Keep uh, keep your eyes on the prize, and then you'll see when that happens. Thursday, you can find me over on Weave the Tail for Pathfinder. Friday, uh, we're wrapping up our Bolts in Rampart uh, Jasper's Game Day Charity Game. Uh, I I got Frenched by an Eldritch Demon. She so tries to put eggs in my mouth. So you know, I you know. It, Third worst day of my life. Um, Saturday morning, you can find me over on Morning Ritual, uh, where we're talking to Art Pleb of the Wandering End fame. Uh, he's fantastic. One of my favorite uh, creators on uh, TikTok and uh, just actual plays. Then later on Saturday, you can find me over on a uh, uh, Gilding Lights channel for Eclipsia, uh, which is uh, our D and D game where I. I accidentally picked up a, a sword that is now bound to me. Um, oops. <laughs> then Sunday, you can find me behind the scenes 
for Rivals of Waterdeep. We're on our 12th season, uh, episode six this week. Uh, it's been a fantastic time. Uh, and uh, I am also doing some editing, a lot of editing for Roll With It, uh, a show uh, featuring the wonderful Brandy Rose, uh, bringing you insights on a couple of game designers, uh, how they make their games. And it's uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome. But speaking of things that are awesome, uh, right now, obviously, you know, there is the TTRPGs for trans rights in Texas. Uh, if you've got five dollars, it's so many games, so many games. Uh, and now on top of that, Monty Cook Games uh, has joined in. So if you send them uh, your receipt, you get a couple of adventures for Numenera, uh, the Numenera Quick Start Guide and all that kind of stuff. So just uh, if, if, if not for the cause then do it because it's a lot of amazing games from a lot of amazing creators but you should be doing it for the cause because fuck texas <laughs> that's me all right thank you and susie where are you what are you doing um tomorrow i will be here again at 2 p.m eastern um trying not to die um i think sam has other plans so we'll see how that goes and i'll be watching a no doubt shit show uh happening over high garden because they thought it would be a good idea to siege high garden sandwich between another army but anyway i could rant about that for a while um but <laughs> join us here tomorrow for after the fire which is our song of ice and fire game of thrones campaign uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, that's 7 p.m. if you're in the Britland. And then on Friday, I will be on my channel again at 2 p.m. Eastern, playing more Elden Ring, probably, most likely. That's all I play these days. So you can join the adventures of my character there with her big sword um, killing stuff. Then uh, I don't stream on the weekend. I don't, I don't do it. So on Monday, I'll be back on my channel. And uh, hopefully, uh, if we can get the crew together, have a Crusade of Queens, because yeah. uh, I've got look planned um you know smoky eye but make it sith so i'll be there for that <laughs> oh yeah i saw the tweet yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and now yeah. i know how to do makeup i want to redo that makeup look so it looks good um so we'll be doing that on monday hopefully and then tuesday hopefully will be some phasma with tom and millie and then back here again next week for hex crawl nice thank you so much um pope what are you up to? Hey, everybody. Pope here. Pope World Ball on Twitter. Pope World Ball on Twitch. I look at all your streams. If you want to see more of this ridiculous space, there's another opportunities throughout the week. Um, coming up next is tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, over on Critical Misses, the premiere of Masks, Advanced Studies, University Age Superheroes. What is worse, mandatory uh, credits or supervillains? You decide. Uh, then on Saturdays over on Valdrian's channel, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, we continue on with the, the best city in the apocalypse uh, in Defiant. Uh, there's just a giant fuck off flaming tree in the middle of the park. And that that's not good. So if you want to see how a bunch of folks deal with that, tune in. Sundays, I'll run Weave the Tail. It is time for some good docos at 3 p.m. Eastern with Pugmire, What Lies Buried. And then Monday nights over on Weave, you can see me in Simba Room Stories. We're going to die. We're going to die terribly. Um, somehow, uh, with the one shot this past Wednesday, my incredibly villainous, terrible uh, Game of Thrones inspired character somehow lived and I'm I feel almost upset about it um, he should have died he should have died terribly um, but yeah that's that's pretty much for me but I just want to say one, one last thing if you are still going to be up and about today uh, do uh, take a gander over at Weave the Tale as for mentioned from Noir um Texas has some problems, mostly with their leadership. Um, there are plenty of good people who live in the insanely vast state, um, and they deserve some help. So there is a fundraiser for Equality Texas going on over at Weave. So hit up their Twitter, retweet what's going on live, live if you can, 
hang out if you can, give if you can. Thank you all so much. And thank you for being here. We're live VOD YouTube. Uh, Story is nothing without its audience. And if you made it this far, um, hashtag shopping spree nice. over on the YouTube. Uh, thank you all so much. And I hope to see you soon. Beautiful. Thank you, Pope. And we'll be raiding Weave the Tail in just a second as well. Uh, but Lynn, what are you up to? Hey, I'm uh, Lynn, uh, Gremlin Art, pretty much ever Twitter, Twitch. You can find my art there as well as what I'm doing throughout the week. Including on Saturday, we're going to be restarting on a Wandering Society, um, getting back with our sign game where I get to play a uh, Katuna Godling. And we are underground, and there is maybe like an angry cat man that might eat us. Who knows? We'll see. And on Tuesdays on um, the Amphitheater, it is our um, Redwall game, uh, Ualia, where we were given a, if you could give a bunch of tr- a bunch of teenagers the ability to summon a giant treant, you find out what happens. Which you would use it any, time, any chance you get. <laughs> and um, on my channel, uh, Sunday, we're going to, Sunday morning, we will be continuing our Gundam build, which has been slightly crippled. We will continue. We will finish this thing. Good. I'm glad. All right, yeah. As for us, if you follow us around the internet, follow Black Cats, or you can get our stuff at blackcatsgamingshop.com, as well as other reputable stores and drive through RPG online. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with, as Susie said, more of our Game of Thrones Song of Ice and Fire role-playing campaign after the fire, where a fight is brewing in the Reach, and we find out whether little Miria is going to survive or not from her battle um but uh until then folks head on over to we the tale where we'll be raiding um because uh yeah they are uh doing a little charity drive for absolutely good cause equality texas from what i can what i've been reading on the hellscape of my twitter feed is that they're providing actual incredibly uh good support for families that are affected by that um it's not even a bill is it? it's like an order by the governor or something um yeah so uh yeah uh trans uh s- support and medication is not child abuse just so you know uh so yes. please head over to them and yeah uh, and support them please join me if if you have any little shout outs i was just saying yeah you're right it's just greg abbott being a twat <laughs> <laughs> And from the from the from the chat right here, it's an election move as well, rather than just yeah, like of course, any, of course yeah, he's that's the way it goes. Yeah, do, which is just even more monstrous, like in a way, really. Uh, but yeah, please head on over to them and uh, give them some love. And when you pop into chat, give them a trans rights from me as well. All right, folks. Ooh. Until next time, we'll see you. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Bye bye.